just ugly even though ugly and beautiful is so subjective and so dependent on a person's taste and preference and everything like just because you're ugly to one person doesn't mean you're ugly to everybody she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her there must be something bad features you'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her hello hello it's sahar dahi honey and welcome to or welcome back to my youtube channel very excited today very fun little video i have planned um we're gonna be paying a little homage to my tiktok you guys know that confidence is really something that i do like to talk about and i've had my own confidence journey and i've had a lot of growth and therapy and you know help you guys seem to like my confidence videos on tiktok and they seem to be helpful so why not bring it on to youtube where i can actually talk about it properly i'm not gonna waste any more time these are five things you can do to build your confidence increase your self-love and just a quick little disclaimer i'm not out here saying oh my god i'm so confident i'm the most confident person you'll ever meet no that's not the case at all i'm actually a very insecure person and i have been very insecure basically my entire life for like the past year i've been grinding on myself really hard working really hard to try to build my confidence help me feel better about myself but this is just things that personally have helped me and the reason why i'm even talking about it is because I've been there. I've been in all your shoes. I know exactly what goes through your head and how before you actually gain some confidence, you really just think like, it's impossible for me. It's gonna be impossible for me, but it's not. And let me show you how. This was kind of the first sort of tidbit of advice I'd ever gotten towards confidence that kind of clicked in my head and changed my way of thinking. Just start acknowledging the negative thoughts you have about yourself. Acknowledge the thought, acknowledge the negative thought. Don't judge it, just acknowledge it. What that means is when you think poorly of yourself, just point out from like a third person perspective that like, oh damn, I just thought badly of myself. So don't be like, oh my God, I'm such a piece of shit. Like, why am I thinking, why do I always think so bad of myself, blah, blah, blah. That's judging it, that's judging it. And see, that's that's what we're not gonna do. What you do, just acknowledge it. Just be like, okay, right there, just said something bad about myself. You don't realize this, but it's almost like annoying to have to keep pointing it out to yourself. It's something that like, you're gonna get sick of because if you're like me, where at the beginning, it was almost like 20 times a day, you were saying something bad about yourself. You're gonna be like, ugh, this is like exhausting to always point it out. And then what happens is over time, you gradually just kind of stop thinking so negatively of yourself. Eventually, it'll get to the point where you barely think negative things about yourself. And the next thing, number two, is to start creating a routine for yourself and spend some time alone. Creating a routine for yourself is so important because I feel like it shows you that you're prioritizing yourself. And that's something that a lot of us don't do. And when you're very insecure, I don't think you really do prioritize yourself whatsoever. You want to make time for what you think is important in your day, even though it's like so simple and small. But really, a routine just makes the biggest difference difference so show yourself that your priorities are worthwhile to you create a routine of eating certain things create a routine of how you want your day to go whatever it is it doesn't matter in order for the confidence to come you need to show yourself you are willing to make the time the effort show yourself that you are worthwhile and then as for spending time alone, I feel like no one understands how important this actually is because I think a lot of us do tend to put our confidence and our self-worth in other people, whether that be friends, whether that be a relationship, you might put all of your energy and put all of you into one person and think that like, and I am worthwhile because these people think I'm worthwhile. So that's what, that's where my confidence is coming from. And I don't blame anyone for going through that because I had that too with friends. When it came to friends, I put all of my confidence in friends. But the thing is, once you lose that, and there always is the chance that you're gonna lose it and i feel like when you are dependent on people they want to leave more if that makes sense because no one likes feeling like someone is 100 percent completely dependent on them if those people leave you're gonna go back to this place of feeling like so crap about yourself spend time alone make time for you prove to yourself that you would want to hang out with you you want to spend time alone you want to prioritize yourself and in this time alone i'm gonna do what i want to do because i want to do it and this is how i want my night to go or my day to go whatever show yourself that you want to hang out with you and you you deserve to hang out with yourself and it'll help build your confidence number three and this one's so important and if you follow my tiktok you know i talk about this quite a bit you need to stop viewing yourself as titles that you label your physical features i'm talking more in specific to the negative things that you say about yourself even the positives i try to stray away from that just because i feel like if you make a habit of labeling yourself as things like about your physical features it might make you think that that's all you are and that all you are is based on you know your exterior appearance 
appearance and it's so important to not prioritize those things but in general i'm just saying you need to stop viewing yourself as titles especially negative titles being like oh my nose is too big my lips are too small my face is ugly my body's ugly my stomach's too big my butt's not big enough whatever those titles are so detrimental to your brain and it's like when you talk you think your mind isn't listening you think that your soul isn't hearing all the bad things you're saying about yourself because it is if you are constantly talking negatively about yourself do you really think it's gonna make you feel like good no absolutely not and these titles make you believe that you are these like materialistic things that you are just ugly even though ugly and beautiful is so subjective and so dependent on a person's taste and preference and everything like just because you're ugly to one person doesn't mean you're ugly to everybody and once you start practicing not labeling yourself as these things of like ugly this too big too small too whatever it like rewires your brain with the way you think like start labeling yourself as your character as your heart as your soul i don't label myself as pretty as this or that or whatever i'm more than my looks and i know that instead of looking in the mirror and being like i'm ugly i'm this i'm that look into the mirror and be like i'm a good person i have a good heart i am smart i'm creative i'm ambitious those kind of things those are the things you should be labeling yourself as and once you start labeling yourself with those personality things that can't be measured it changes your entire mentality towards yourself it changes just everything it is the biggest boost to your confidence when you start realizing that you are more than just this number four you need to start embracing your quirks and the things that make you different i don't think anyone understands how beautiful it is to be different and do things that are different it really does make you shine and it really does make you glow i i genuinely do believe there is like a glow that comes with authenticity and just being yourself when you embrace those things that make you different and you don't have shame in it it's insane the way it will make you feel so good about yourself like to just be 100 percent you the biggest boost to your confidence it'll make you feel so good about yourself and here's the thing people can only make you feel better about those things if you let them the things that make you different can only be laughable if you allow yourself to be ashamed by them but if you don't give a f if you don't care what people are saying if people are being like oh that's f weird and you're like okay i like it what are they gonna say it's so simple so as long as you don't give other people the power to make you feel like crap about those things that make you different no one can say shit wear it with confidence if you like a certain music that nobody else likes blast that shit sing to it have so much fun with it if you have a certain style that's not popular wear it with your motherfucking shoulders rolled back strut strut like it's your fucking runway when you're walking okay no one can say anything you'll see how much your confidence skyrockets when you can just be yourself and be comfortably yourself and the last one you guys have heard this a million times but it is so fucking true fake it till you make it baby i know not everyone believes in like manifestation and shit but like it is so true when it comes to this sense you need to just act like the person you want to be until you become it in your head whatever you think a confident person looks like just walk around like you are that who is honestly stopping you from doing that make it like a little acting challenge in your head walk around the streets like a confident person whatever that means to you and watch how much you start transforming into it you will eventually become that and i promise you and you want the living proof of it right here okay right here you think I, no no i faked it my entire tiktok career was based around me faking confidence i'm still not the most confident person in the world it, it did help a lot and clearly because no one watches my videos and thinks like oh my god she's definitely really insecure most people think i'm overly confident most people think i'm cocky most people think i'm conceited but there's proof there there's evidence right there that faking it till you make it works give it a try and just see the difference it makes and if i'm wrong then i'm wrong but i i know i'm not so just do it and that brings us to the end of the video. So if you say this long, thank you for watching. But I had a very good time talking about this and this confidence and stuff like that is just something I'm so passionate about and I really want to help people because I know how much it helped me to kind of build my confidence and work on myself. If you took even just one thing out of this, if you wouldn't use one of these methods, then I consider that successful. That's it. That's literally it. So bye.